Hey, Emily, how are you doing? I'm doing good, Lauren. How are you? I'm good. Can you tell me about where you're from, what you do? Um, my name is Emily Knapp. Um, I was actually born and raised here in Georgia. Um, I was actually born at Kennestone. Uh, so was I. Really? Mm -hmm. So was my husband and all three of my kids. Awesome. Um, can you tell me what specifically you teach? Um, I teach primarily ceramics. Okay. Um, I teach uh, pottery. I've also taught um, a little bit of glass fusion and mm -hmm. some jewelry smithing as well. Awesome. How long have you been teaching? I have been teaching since uh, 2011, uh, but I've been with the art station for about five years. Cool. So tell me about your space. Um, well, it's a disaster, as you can see. Um, no, it's just kidding. Um, I have a studio in Dallas, Georgia, um, which is where we are right now. And I have had this building for a couple of years now. Mm -hmm. And then, like I said, I also teach out of the art station as well. Can you tell me about any of your processes and the media that you use? Um, I mainly work with uh, clay. Um, I make all sorts of different things. I make both functional pottery and I also make like wearable ceramic art, uh, necklaces, studs. That's what I've got out to work mm -hmm. on today. Um, but yeah, and then I also make hanging planners and just different things like that. Awesome. Are there, do you have any inspirations or themes that you use? I would say nature is like my biggest inspiration. Um, like I was telling you before, we, mm -hmm. we actually live on 15 acre farm in Dallas, Georgia. So I draw a lot of my inspiration from here. We have so much nature around us. We've got animals and so, and we love to go hiking and things like that. So mm -hmm. I always am really inspired after we come back from like the mountains and stuff. Cool. Did you do anything specific during quarantine? Um, we try to just, you know, shelter in place and hang out. Uh, the kids were doing digital learning, so a lot of my attention went to that. Um, so I didn't really get into the studio all that much except to uh, rearrange some things and, you know, try to organize, which just didn't happen. Is there anything in particular that you're super proud of? I would say, like, my current work is one of the things I'm most proud of. Um, I feel like I spent a lot of time right after college trying to, like, find myself as an artist, and I finally feel like I've kind of got, like, my thing. Um, I feel like there's a lot of times now where people will um, see something that I've created and they'll know that it's something that I've made. Can you tell me specifically what it is that you create, like mugs or plates? or? I mainly do, um, I would say, like, wearable art and, like, home decor. Um, I make a lot of home decor stuff. I make, uh, like, witches' hats and the hanging planners I was telling mm -hmm. you about, and little hearts with, you know, just different things on it, so. Cool. Um, so do you venture anywhere else outside of teaching? Um, I do. I do a lot of festivals and things like that. Um, currently, you can find um, my work at the uh, Macon Arts Alliance um, down in Macon. Um, mm -hmm. I also do a couple shows for them. I am about to gear up for their show Fire and Ice, which is something that they do in November. It's kind of like a holiday show. Mm -hmm. um, I also have work that is at... Paulding Fine Arts Association. It's in the downtown historic courthouse in Dallas, um, and they have my stuff year-round. Would I be able to find any of your stuff online? Not currently, but that is something that I'm actually working on um, in the next couple months. Awesome. So do you have any words of wisdom, any closing remarks, anything to tell your students? Um, I have uh, definitely a lot of stuff to tell my students. I miss you guys so much. Come back. Um, no, I cannot wait to get back to teaching, and I cannot wait to see my students, hopefully, in the next couple of months. Thank you so much. Thank you.